after reviewing after reviewing several years of tropical storm tracks and hurricane tracks it became real obvious there's been a sudden increase in hurricane activity in tropical storms not only in number but also in severity there's more than one way to measure the severity of the storm some do it by cost others do it by wind speed others do it by amount of rain and flooding but you know the, and then it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on when you try to look at overall patterns but we noticed that very rarely did two hurricanes cross the same plot of land um, very it happened but not very often and when three hurricanes crossed all on the exact same spot like a bullseye that was as rare as can be but then we noticed that there was way beyond w the odds way beyond what you would think would be an accident or coincidence we found four and five crossings on the exact same you know square meter of soil the eye of the hurricane four hurricanes passes over the same exact spot of dirt is virtually it was virtually non-existent and the, and so the areas in which hurricanes were showing up on land we looked at the nuclear power plants and get rid of any correlation for example in 2016 2017 2018 2019 more and more hurricanes started going up to Illinois and there was one year where three of them all ended up at the at the southern Illinois well, when you go up into Illinois what do you see it looks like bowling pins looks like all ten pins it's also you know, the Louisiana Delta has been targeted and the Florida tip usually spared has now been you know hammered and hammered and hammered repeatedly so you talk about storm surge uh, and and nuclear accidents you talk about power outages and nuclear accidents and and there are so many hurricanes that have come up through Louisiana or through the tip of Florida and have targeted almost the same 26 facilities and you have to kind of consider them direct hits when your when your hurricane you know diameter covers three states and and only two states have 20 nuclear power plants so you, you, when you run something up through the gauntlet there you'll see that you're you're putting at risk a minimum 23 power plants if you go up north of North Carolina and you go into the the northern states up there then you're talking adding four or five more to your target list so the way to target the most nuclear power plants in a single storm is to come up through the, the, the Louisiana Delta and make them curve out and exit around South Carolina North Carolina that way Georgia gets hammered and North Carolina South Carolina get hammered and you know that doesn't even include Tennessee and the Virginias so literally in a single big hurricane can literally target and pass directly over 27 or 28 nuclear facilities on the East Coast just a single hurricane and not a single hurricane has done this um, dozens have done this dozens of hurricane have followed this general path so that's just something to keep an eye on and lately the tr I mean this past hurricane season the tropical storms and the hurricanes have been relentless so many have showed up in the Caribbean and started in the Caribbean and or off South America now that does happen but most of your hurricanes generally start off the coast of Africa in the Atlantic and to have so many starting up uh, east of the Yucatan Peninsula 
is a rarity. I mean, there that you can't even. There's so many dots there you can't even see. But how easy would it be to target um, 27, 28 nuclear facilities on a hurricane that was created inside the Caribbean? Likewise, inside the Gulf of Mexico, several were created and took direct aim at the Louisiana Delta. So, it, I think it bears monitoring and watching. And, you know, if you live near a nuclear power plants or you live in the, this gauntlet of, gosh, I, you know, 27 nuclear power plants within a three-state radius, uh, that's, that's, to me, sounds a little like an extreme way to boil water. But the intention is to really increase monitoring and if you live near one of these plants I definitely would get a Geiger counter. 